Good afternoon, middle school. Good afternoon, hello. Welcome to the Black Box and to our show. Before we get started, I'd like to um, lay down a few ground rules for us in this space. Number one, no eating or drinking. If you have water, you can take little sips, that's fine. But please make sure that you are returning your mask fully over your noses and mouths. There's a lot of us in here and we need to commit to keeping our community safe. I've noticed in the back some people have balls and have been throwing them to each other. That is not acceptable in this space. Please make sure that you have any items that might be distracting to you or to the performers put away. These people have been working on this show for three and a half months. It is your response, exactly, wow. It's your responsibility as performers to, or as audience members to make sure that they can do their jobs and the things that they've been practicing. If you have a cell phone, which none of you should because you're in middle school, it must be off. Off. So if you need to check your phone right now to make sure that it's off, please do so. It needs to be silenced and off, and I'm incredibly serious about that. So just take a moment to check if you need to. Teachers, if you do notice any phones at any time during the performance, please take them. All right, middle school, we are really excited to share this show with you. I know I told many of you as you came in, but please do keep your bags under your seat. There is a lot of walking through the audience that happens in this show. So I really would appreciate it if you would make sure that our performers do not trip and get hurt and therefore hurt you in the process. So thank you so much for keeping us all safe today. I know we haven't been to live theater in a really long time, so I'd like to remind you about what great audience behavior is. It means that you're sitting up, it means that you're watching the performance, it means that your body language is showing that you're engaged and interested. If it's funny, of course you can laugh. But the laughing is not about you, it's about celebrating what's happening on stage. So make sure you then like, you know, turn off the laughter so that with the audience or the actors can continue with what they're doing. Please applaud at the end of shows. Please celebrate these amazing humans who've been working on this for so long. So that's enough for me. I'm really boring. So I would like to hand it over to our amazing lights and sound crew to get this show started for us. Can we have a big round of applause for our awesome purple group? Cool water from the spring. The 
water in the lake is so disgusting and smelly, and I'm so thirsty. Please? <laughs> no. Oh, great heavens, I really need this sweet, fresh water from the spring. We should take this opportunity to be free. Although we are happy here, we would much rather be free. Here, listeners, would you want to be cased in? No. no. Be careful, can you trick her? Well?
Will I see you there? <laughs> of course I'll be there. Great to see you then. Uh, tonight, tomorrow, my belly will be full. I better get the mess.
Have you ever had a monster in your home? Perhaps a specific friend or a sibling you utterly despise? Well, what if I told you my friend the hair here has a story to tell of its encounter with a monster? Uh, chestnut acorns. I'll hop in, roast a few nuts for lunch, and have a peaceful nap. Who's there? I'm a monster. I'm a monster. I eat rhinos for lunch and elephants for supper. Come in if you
The fox and the leopard got to enjoy the sunny days without worrying about the monster. The rhino and the elephant weren't eaten by a monster. What? And myself, well, I got my nap. Yeah. 